Let's take a look at a transformer short circuit current. Now, in order to calculate the short circuit current of a transformer, you need to know the transformer's percentage impedance, and that's usually located on the transformer's nameplate under percent Z. Now, the percent Z is a percentage of the ratio between the short circuit voltage and the transformer's nominal voltage. Okay, so this is a uh, this happens to be a Westinghouse transformer, uh, three kVA. And we're going to set it up from uh, 480 to 240 volt, and our percent impedance is 3.5%. Uh, there should be a Z under that ribbit right there. So that's our transformer. To calculate our full load current, we just take our secondary voltage, which is our 240 volts, and we divide that into our VA, which is 3000. So it turns out to be 12.5 uh, amps. So this transformer is good for 12.5 amps on the secondary. Now, if we short that out, to find our short circuit current, we take our full load uh, current, which is our 12.5 uh, amps, and we divide that by our percentage impedance, and we times that by 100. So, we got our uh, 3.5 into our 12.5 times 100, so that comes out to 375 amps if we short it out. So. The max, uh, the max short circuit current is about 30 times the uh, full load current. So the switch gear has to be rated with a KAIC rating. That's kilo amperage interrupting capacity able to take this, this 375 amps. Now, uh, most uh, circuit breakers and fuses are, are rated well over that. I don't know if you can see this one, but this one has a uh, KAIC rating of uh, 10,000 amps. So uh, well within the limit. This happens to be a small transformer, but larger transformers can be uh, have a lot more uh, short circuit current. But that's uh, just an easy way to calculate the uh, short circuit current of a, of a transformer. And uh, that's it. Thank you.